DoorDash Strategies Waiting at Home versus Heading to Hotspots Hey Dashers! In today's video, we're diving into a common question. Do you wait at home for deliveries to pop up, or do you drive to the nearest hotspots and wait for orders? Let's explore both strategies and share some tips to maximize your earnings while dashing. Waiting at home Many dashers, including myself, prefer to wait at home for a few reasons. Comfort and convenience. You're in your own space, able to relax or take care of other tasks. Saving on gas. By not driving around, you can save on fuel costs. Avoiding low tip areas. At home, you can be selective about the orders you accept, avoiding those that take you to areas with typically low or no tips. However, orders from home can sometimes be slow, and they may take you to undesirable areas. If this happens, consider switching to a nearby hotspot. Heading to hot spots. Driving to hot spots can increase your chances of getting orders quickly. Here's why. Higher order volume. Hot spots are busy areas with lots of restaurants and customers. Faster pickups. Being closer to restaurants means quicker pickups and more deliveries. Better earnings. More orders can lead to higher earnings, especially during peak times. Balancing strategies. Here's how I balance waiting at home and heading to hot spots. Start at home. I usually start at home and wait for an order that gets me out. If it's slow, I head to a hot spot. Flexible approach. If a hot spot is too crowded with other dashers, I avoid it. Avoid peak traffic times. I avoid hot spots during peak traffic times to save on fuel and time. Instead, I dash during lunch and dinner rush hours when the demand is high. Utilize multiple apps. Sometimes, I switch to Uber Eats or Instacart if DoorDash is slow. Tips for maximizing earnings. Combine strategies. Wait at home during slower times and head to hot spots during peak hours. Track hotspot trends. Use the DoorDash app to identify hot spots, which can change based on time and day. Stay flexible. Be ready to move if a hotspot becomes inactive. Keep essentials in your car. Always have a phone charger and snacks. Remember, the Dasher app stops working if your phone is in low power mode. Ultimately, the best strategy might involve a mix of waiting at home and positioning yourself near hot spots. Experiment to see what works best for you. Happy dashing! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks on making the most out of your DoorDash experience.